Craft family. Hope you're having a good day today. Today, listen, I got a lot of requests to do this joint, so I'm going to get straight to it, man. Um, I really don't know how to pronounce his name. Is it Chase? Chase? Um, and this, song, this song is called Blackout. Um, the official music video. Let's get straight to it. See what it's talking about. Smash the subscribe if you're new here. Also, if you want to hear my intro song, that's my new single, um, Good Die Young. It's a tribute to Nissy Hustle. Let me know what you think with that of that. It would be the pen coming. Let's get straight to this, though, man. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, please seek help before it takes over your life entirely. We tend to forget that addicts can be the people we know and love. Never discredit someone because of mistakes that they've made. That's true, man. You, like, anybody can end up going down that road. Like, life situations, life happens. Things in life happens, and, and it causes you... To go down different roads so no one knows where they're gonna be you know five ten years from now man like like it, it happens man like you, you can't judge people for going down that route either man after all you never know what kind of journey led them to rock bottom exactly yeah I was a nice kid, grew up with the family and like them Always had some food on my plate and a place to bite in But all of a sudden it's like a switch flipped It's on my head telling me I don't deserve shit Man, I would wake up and then I perch into the mirror Pick apart the imperfections on the person who'd appear Cause I don't love myself for the way that I looked I was a little fat and hated all that weight on my foot mm, That's kind of like touching home right there Cause like being, you know, heavy weighted, you know, in like middle school, high school, you get picked on a lot because of your weight. You know, people have the jokes. If you, especially if you don't got t a tough skin, like it, it can definitely get to you. And people don't realize that, man. Like you, you definitely have to take in like what you're doing and what you're saying to certain people because you don't know how they feel, man. Pull that weight on my shoulders every day, just depressed. Every day getting older and every day feeling less. My homies later and every day that weight on my shoulders. Every day just depressed. Every day getting older and every day feeling less. My homies like, I can tell you got some shit on your chest. My mama drinks a little bit instead of ease as a stress. And I'm like, I we walked to his crib and we stole the bottle. I started feeling nervous, but So that's what happened. He was going through something and he heard overheard his mother saying that, you know. Alcohol is the way to ease the pain. So, you know, he started drinking. So, see, listen, different turn of events can take you down that lane, man. It, it's crazy. It's a stress, and I'm like, I, we walked to his crib and we stole the bottle. I started feeling nervous, but drank it, then fell hollow. He dabbed me up to said, my mom's about to be back. But there's some more inside the liquor cabinet we could drink tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, yeah, homie, don't worry, it's cool. I got to go to bed early, so I wake up for school. But after that, we gonna dabble in the greatest of booze. Then boom, I blacked out. I didn't wake up till noon. I thought I'm ringing the bell. My mom's ringing myself. She's pissed off because she heard that I've been drinking myself. But she don't understand the deep inside. I'm drinking for help. I said, fuck it. I'm leaving. I don't need you to yell. I packed my bags up and crashed with a couple of friends. Couple months of wind pines. That's crazy, man. And then sometimes parents don't even really understand what their kid is going through. Because it's just like, you know, they just think it's just, you know, high school or them being a kid. But they don't know that there's a, a deeper, you know, thing going on in their mind. that They actually need to sit down with their child and just talk to them about, man. I, I can definitely relate to this right now. I don't need now, you man. to yell. I pack my bags up and crash with a couple of friends. Couple months of when pine still the buzzing bonnet. I think I'm more sad now than I ever have been. I need some stronger medication, so I called up a friend. I said, listen, homie, all that drinking shit ain't working. Man, give me something else. He like chill. I got the Percocets sets. I'm getting more tomorrow. If you like it, you could buy the next. I said, deal, man, in person, and I tried this shit. That right there, man. This is one of the reasons. Like, I know myself personally, and I know that you know with the things that go on in my life that I can easily, easily gravitate to something. This is why I never you know drink or you know done any type of drugs really because i know i can easily be influenced by it because it's just like you look for one thing and it eases the pain but then it starts not to ease the pain and then you look for something a lot more stronger and, and i realized that it's, at such a young age thankfully but i know some people you know like they they don't it, 
it's not really taught to us as, as a young one, man. You know, you just see there's something that, that can ease the pain. But in reality, man, like that stuff can, like it starts off small. You know, you see you start drinking, then it's, it, it gravitates to something else, man. Hey, but damn, this, this is crazy, though, man. Hey, shouts out to Chase, bro. I hope I'm saying your nice name right, but this is dope. Tomorrow, bro, if you like it, you can buy the next. I said, deal, met in person, and I tried this shit. Within the hour, I'm loving the new thrill. Hit my friend back and said, could you cut me a new deal? I need all of the blue pills. This shit is just too ill. I'm confused because his mood was prudent and too thrilled. He was happy that I've been struggling lots. Because he knew that in the end, then it could double his guap. When my struggle would begin, then the struggle would stop But I still buy the Levis product when we link to the spot So fast forward a few weeks, I'm addicted to drugs Somehow my mama found out and pulled me back from the thugs Moved me back into a crib and tried to show me a thug But I was numb and only interested in getting a buzz And it's fucked up, cause she was only trying to be nice I didn't listen, shit I left and I stayed out for the night Man I went clubbing with my homies that were down for the vines Then went home the next day to make a mountain of thighs Shit I woke up around 3, heard a knock at the door one of his closest homies was like selling drugs to him and was actually happy that he was going out that lane because he knew he would make a profit off of his own friend. That's wild, man. Went home the next day to make a mountain of thighs. Shit, I woke up around three, heard a knock at the door. Then these voices started talking shit, I heard them before. I couldn't put my finger on it, so I had to explore. But on the table was the bottle that I left in my drawer. Shit, my mom found it, turned around to see the family. They all looking down at me, and they ain't looking happily. This when I realized what the fuck this is. Y'all are here to try to take away my substances. My mom reached forward, then grabbed the bottle off the countertop. She looked at me and said, Chase, this has to stop. I lashed out and said it stops when I decided, well, I grabbed the bottle from her hand, do not deny it. Pills. Then I ran up to my room, grabbed the gun that I had hidden in a couple of blues. Crushed the tablets on the table, hit a couple of snooze, then put the clip inside the gun, load it back in him. Wait, what? I see my family walking up to me. I wish that I could say I'm so. Wow, so he shot himself, bro? I, I wondered it, because it's just like. It looks as if he's still alive, maybe, or maybe this is his conscience inside his head, and maybe he's looking out, you know, in his last minutes, but... That's crazy. Sorry for this fuckery. I never meant to hurt you. But I was hurt and had to fucking leave. It's almost like they heard me fucking sick it because they hugging me. Oh, mama, you can't shake me awake. Stop trying. I'm gone. Let it into your brain. Your heart's gonna break. Hit every fucking thought on my face. But let you learn from my lessons so you don't make the mistake. Just tell my story and let them know that I'm sorry. I used to love the thought of death, but now the reaper's upon me. And shit, I'm scared. Save me, mom. I'm passing away. I wish I didn't put that bullet through the back of my brain. Yo, man. Hold up. Lock out. That's crazy. Wow, man. Like, I'm darn this speechless on this, man. Because it's crazy how this went down. Like, the, the storytelling was so well done with this video, bro. From the beginning to the end. The way, you know, it, it told a story of this guy going through something because his imperfections, you know, he was overweight, you know, he's probably being bullied. And so he, he took to drugs to, you know, ease that pain because he was tired of being, you know, people looking at him like like something's wrong with him and he didn't know how to handle it. So the only way he knew how to get rid of it was, you know, to focus in and you know, use drugs to ease that pain, but, you know, later on down the line, you know, it wasn't enough, and then, you know, family found out, you know, discussions with, the, you know, fighting with his family, you know, then it's just too much for him to handle to the point where he just want to end his own life, man, that is, that is crazy, man, and it, and it happens so many, like, so many people go through this stuff, 
you know, in, 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 in middle school, you get picked on, bullied, high school. Like, those are the two toughest times. I mean, that was, like, school is a really tough thing for a kid, man, especially when he doesn't understand his feelings and knowing what's going on and no one there to be there for him to tell him to, you know, hey, that, 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 you know, these words that they're telling you don't really mean nothing. They, they, you know, like people just sometimes have hate in their heart and they just want to bully people. But I, I definitely dealt with bullying myself, man. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all dealt with bullying, man. But yeah, man, it, it's no real way of going by, you know, talking to your child. Like I, I, I I really don't know how to, like, how could you, you know, explain to your child that, you know, these are just words, you know, it, it, it's crazy, man, super crazy, but beautiful story right here, man, well written, the song was really dope, man, shout out to Chase, I really hope I'm saying your name right, this is Blackout, if y'all want to check the song out, definitely go to his channel, really dope artist, man, this is my first time listening to him, but this is crazy, man. Hey, uh, smash the subscribe. Appreciate your support. If you got time, go check out my new single, Good Die Young. The link would be the pin coming. Appreciate your support. We out. Salute.